Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video I'm going to do the top five of my favorite uh, art books I read and studied in 2020. This year has been a crazy year, you know, with the pandemic and everyone in lockdown. And I hope you're all fine. And the way that I uh, try to relax is to uh, listen to music or uh, just paint and draw and that's very soothing but what I also like is reading and studying art by other artists and I've made a list of five uh, favorite books I read this year and I'm gonna start off with Crazy Cat and these are the books uh, I already did uh, a review about Crazy Cat and the book is called Crazy Cat to Complete Sundays, 1935-1944. And the artist is George Harriman. And he published daily comics of Crazy Cat, but also on Sunday, uh, they had the Sunday pages. And these were the entire pages of a newspaper. Great thing about this Tushin book is that in the beginning, there's a, a sort of a biography so that you better understand the era the comic was made. Crazy Cat is a very strange comic and they were published in the paper and especially the Sundays and what's great about this book is that um, the originals are published at the same size or almost at the same size they were published in the paper. The next book that's sitting next to it, and these are very large books, so you really need to lay them down on the table, otherwise you know you can't read them. And the second book is Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse is one of my favorite uh, cartoon characters, and I have a lot of books about Mickey Mouse. And I already made a review uh, about uh, that book as well, and this is the XXL version by Tushin and Tushin makes great books but there's great news there is a smaller version now and that's the 40th anniversary uh, issue or copy and that's around $25 so if you want to read everything about uh, Mickey Mouse and if you really uh, like Mickey Mouse this is the ultimate book and there's the XXL version but now they have the smaller version, which is a lot cheaper. Then number three is Monet, The Triumph of Impressionism. And this is a, a smaller book. It's also by uh, Tashin. And I will leave links uh, to Amazon stores, but sometimes it's best to look at Tashin.com because sometimes when you're in Europe, uh, the books are cheaper at the Tushin site than on Amazon. And I always check because sometimes they have discounts on books. And this is a great book about uh, uh, Monet, which was the father of Impressionism. The book covers his whole life. And, you know, I really like Monet and I really wanted to find out everything about, you know, how he came up with the impressionist style. And I will do um, some videos about uh, drawing and painting like Monet uh, in the next year. And I also created a, a brush set for Procreate. So if you follow my uh, tutorials, I'll make a tutorial on how to paint with the brushes I created for the impressionists. And no, this is just a great book with a lot of samples of his work and a lot of sketches. And, you know, you can really find out, you know, what made him uh, the painter he was. So this is a great book and another biography. And that's a total different um, painter. That's Norman Rockwell. And he's one of my favorite American illustrators. And this is a biography and the, the book is called Norman Rockwell, My Adventures as an Illustrator, the definite edition. And it's told to his son, Tom Rockwell. So 
this is a biography, but it's a little bit fragmented. These are interviews he had with his son. And, you know, he really talks about uh, his life as an artist. So this is really a must read if you, you know, like Norman Rockwell and want to find out more about Norman Rockwell. This is a great book to read and also leave a link in the description below this video. And the last book, and that's the most elaborate and expensive book I have, which is called Rijks, Masters of the Golden Age. The book is designed by the Dutch uh, designer, Marcel Wonders, and it just has great printing. And it shows all of the 60 paintings that are in the main gallery of the Rijksmuseum. And there's a much bigger version of this book, but then you need uh, a separate table and that's just too expensive. And it shows a lot of great paintings by Johan Vermeer. And the great thing about this book is that it also shows the details of, of the paintings. So this is great, you know, if you have to study or if you want to study a certain Dutch artist, then, you know, this book is great. And it also has some nice uh, typography, which is handwritten. And, you know, they really zoom in into the paintings. So there's just a lot of great things to see. So this is the painting and here a blow up of the painting so that you really can see and enjoy or study the artists. Here's a nice uh, Jacob Isaacson van Ruisdaal, which was also a great painter, Dutch painter. And it also says this is 100% of the original size. So this is the original size of the painting. They also took it out of the frame so that you can see, you know, how big the paintings really were. Of course, also shows the Night Watch by Rembrandt. And that's the centerpiece of the gallery. And here you see some of the blow-ups. These are at 100%. It also has my favorite painting of the gallery. And that's this painting of a swan. Now, of course, all the museums are closed in the Netherlands because of COVID-19. And, you know, this is just a great way, you know, it's just like walking through the gallery. And in this book, there are just a lot of um, details and they also zoom in into uh, the painting so that you really can study uh, the great masters and how they painted. So these are the art books I really enjoyed reading in 2020. Do you have any art books you really like? Please let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, stay safe and happy holidays. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!